just in. My quarrel with Susi Banjo is over. Tunbu opens up. Reveals plan. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified while we post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. The presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Asiwaje Bola Ahmed Tunbu, has finally spoken on his rift with Vice President Yemi Sibanjo during the build up to the party's presidential primaries. The popular Lagos politician, while addressing one of Osibanjo's support group, Sinkano, disclosed that a quarrel with the Vice President was over. I have nothing against him. I've been to his house after the primaries. I saw him on the day of the goodwill message at the retreat organized by the president. If you cannot give forgiveness, how are you asking from Allah? To me, it is over. Politics Nigeria recalls that Osibanjo reportedly fell out with Tunumbu when the former opted to contest for the party's presidential primaries against the leader and several others. The move was widely regarded as an act of betrayal, as many believe Sibanjo should not have thrown his hat in the ring. Well, uh, at this point, I'm like, are we still on this issue? When I heard Dave, when I first saw this particular headlines, are we still on this issue? Ha! That we are even, uh, that we are even, uh, uh, how do I even put it? That we are even, we are not even supposed to be hearing it. I feel that we're even coming out to say this thing. She gone to me, it's like, you know, I think, you know, you still carry something inside your mind say now. That's what I thought. But nonetheless, um, permit me to say this. I don't know, I don't know what is your principle of life. I don't know. But my principle of life, if somebody don't they give me, render me help, hmm? man or woman, I go call the person, say, bros or uh, sister, I beg, no vex, eh? I, be, I won't ask you, see, this help way they give me. I they tell you, if you don't, they pass. I go, I go tell you, you get where you go help, I go say no. Why? Because normally, if somebody helps you today, helps you tomorrow, helps you accept that person, is an extremely, as in a God, nice send them to you. I am telling you, eh, automatically, some of your how go from your decisions in life, if especially when that person is close to you, that the person gonna make them for you. Because and you supposed to ask question. I did tell you, there's some help that comes with a price. And to me, I don't see it as help. I see it as paying it forward. I don't pay for myself forward through this person. That is what it is. That is, that is what you see as networking and business because one day I'm going to return the favor. You understand? Uh -huh. So make an idea of my they ask because I do not see anything wrong in maybe before now, Osibanjo too has been, as in, you don't put that for your mind, you say, ah, I go contest for presidency. So she should go because you not render me help. Make I no contest for the presidency again. That's what I want us to understand. Because you render me help, make I no come outside, I can't do it in I want to do for myself before. But more no dive into this matter. You don't even concern us. It does not reduce the price of bread or gary or palm oil in the market or fuel. I beg. It's only going to see banjo. They feel resolved their risk and uh, 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 rift. Okay, what difference would it make whether you forgive Professor Banjo or not? It doesn't really matter a thing to the man because he's able to live his life without you. Come on. Your forgiveness is only for your own sake. Being rich with... Oh, some people don't the enter another matter. Being rich with stolen public money does not make you any better than him or anyone else. Is there anyone in Yoruba land that you have not had issue with? For example, Fashola and Body. Go on with your rotting ego, brother. Calm down. Are you the spokesman? Even if you're the spokesman for Sibanjo, this is too harsh now. Let's be very civilized. I've said it before. Our comments say a lot about us. All right. Sibanjo doesn't need your forgiveness. Whether you need Sibanjo's forgiveness, he's clean and not corrupt like you. Well, I think uh, it should go around since they're on this forgiveness thing because a lot of things were done to Sibanjo and the man don't even come as a cough. They took money, their own money. Eh? Went to those that print, they printed a banner, right? So it wasn't a banner or posters, they printed posters and you know, 
put a betrayer on it on the super just picture i'm pasted it almost everywhere that act is to me it is the lowest of the low anyone can go like you your money where ah wow let's continue I think Tunibu has an inflated ego. Usibanja has the right to contest her election, even though Tunibu helped her in the past. Something not quite right here. I don't see anything wrong with him contesting, to be very sincere with you. That's why I say it good if they, if person they help you. You better make you ask questions, make you not be say the person they take from you your decision to do something or pursue a particular your particular ambition tomorrow. All right. Um, Yes, Tenobu should realize that some people somewhere helped him to be governor of Lagos State. Exactly what I was going to say. At one point in time in your life, you maybe you are the person that helps. You too have been helped. Uh huh. So uh, you, like I say, what Tenobu does is networking. He's a generous man. He's a generous man. Now networking ain't the man they do. Why did you get angry in the first place? No one of the people who helped to become governor was angry when you contested. And none of them came back to you to pledge loyalty. Exactly. They might have come or we know the story when you're now contesting to be president. What I'm saying exactly is, you know, he's coming back to pledge, I mean, to claim lawyer or guy, you know, I did this thing for you now, you know, return the favor. Mm -mm. Tunibu should learn to be more tolerant and should stop believing that he owns the right to con to a contest and no other people he assisted in the past should be in the race with him. Mm. Okay. So my thought you said there was no quarrel at all. Uh, help me and ask you. How come you people have settled a quarrel? Mm. My dear, I say listen to these people. Selection people. No matter how they can try to hide it, sha, many, many things will be revealed. Mm. How come you people have settled a quarrel? Well, you are settling now because you are contesting a bee. But had he defeated in the primary, would you have agreed for settlement? If yes, why didn't you settle with somebody? In fact, the cup of your enemies is overflowing and soon the empty and will soon empty its content on your body. Tunembo talking like a semi god, maybe he wasn't told of how he was not told that what he demonstrated was the height of show. Shame. You were in Nebuchadnezzar. The Sotibanjo even bothered about the arrant nurses displayed by you and your cohorts. You are not an honorable man. Well, make me uh -huh. Tunembo, the last time I checked, is having issues with Sotibanjo, not you. No, carry this matter personal. I use God's name to beg him. I always tell us that make we know, say, our, our comments, our, our, our opinions, they say a lot about us. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.